Hello, welcome to video 39 in the lecture Advanced Mathematic Modeling. So we looked in the inequality of power law distributions and so the Pareto rule and the Gini coefficients and basically what we did when we had this distribution we distinguished the distribu distribution into two fractions and then we looked how many people are in the fraction above or how many values in the fraction above a, a certain threshold, for example here the median, and how much wealth is accumulated in this. And then we came to the inequalities. And um, in this video now I want to look at another aspect uh, of these distributions, and this also uh, of power law distributions or distributions with a fat tail, and this is uh, the long tail economy. So what does this mean? So the phrase long term, uh, long tail economy, uh, this became uh, famous uh, here in, a, in, a, in a, an article in Wired by Chris Anderson. So this was 2004, so not so long ago. Uh, ago. It was in Wired with this journal, and there he had an article in the long tail why the future of business is selling less of more. Of course, sir, that's sir, a cool title and if you have a title like this, sir, people start to, to read this. So maybe a side remark, if you, if you publish something, a paper, publication, if you find such a cool title where people don't really understand what it means but think it's a deep meaning, they will really start to have more incentive to, to read your 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 paper. <coughs> so anyhow, so let's so, so let's let's look what, what is meant by this. So let's look here again at, at such a distribution which uh, maybe has here cut off value and then it looks like this. And uh, and so some very often or sometimes dis distributions are, are, are called are distributions with a long tail or with a fat tail and uh, it's not really I mean so there are some mathematical differences what some people call as long or fat tailed Sometimes in the literature I see some confusion, so people use the synonymous. But basically what they mean with such an expression is that, that we have here the long tail of the distribution, and that's what I emphasized when you have a power law, that very, very large random numbers can be realized, and this right-hand side goes on and on and on and on and on and on. And so like uh, if this is one, we can easily go to thousand so I would uh, be some meters on my graph to the right and still from time to time have values entries so here we have the the long tail mm -hmm. and long means basically that it can be very very ex large extended to the right and um, sometimes people speak about this as a fat tail and fat basically I would say means that if you know okay now depending where does the long tail start this of course depends again like where we where we make the separation maybe we say the separation is here and then as before we look at the area in here so how many people live in this long tail and if this area is very large then we may, might say okay the uh, the tail is fat because there's a lot of density in it. Yeah? So, uh, so
So, so you can either then speak about long or fat-tailed distributions. And so the long tail, these are the where large events. So that's are the if this is the income again. So that's the Bill Gates and then all the the rich people in the world, or the boss of Amazon and so on. And here we have the common uh, the common small events. And so that would be in the smaller fraction of the distribution. Sometimes we call it the head. So that's the head of the distribution and that's the tail of the distribution. Mm -hmm. And the head means we have many, many small random small events. So like we have a lot of poor people and we have a very small number of very rich. <coughs> or if this is the distribution of earthquake uh, energies, then we have a lot of small earthquakes. The most earthquakes are very small, have not much energy which is coming out of them. But we have a few super duper earthquakes which really destroy cities. Uh -huh. And <coughs> so of course not only the power law distribution can have this, you can have many many distributions which have this long tail. Uh -huh. And uh, we can of then we've, we've seen how we can uh, characterize the inequality, so the fraction of the long to, uh, tail versus the head by in a form of our Gini coefficient and so on. And um, now we can now speak what does this mean for economy. But first I want to make now uh, a remark because here is some confusion. Because like we have seen from this plot here, we can construct, of course, Maybe I'm, I make this here very small because we have seen this very often. We can construct our p larger from x, our cumulative distribution. This really starts with 1 uh, at our cutoff and then this decays also. So in the cumulative distribution we also have our tail and the head. Here it's very similar to the normal distribution. But then remember when we discussed the estimation of histograms we had also the rank curve and the rank curve we, we obtained if we just changed the axis here. So now our, our um, random variable is here and here you would either have the cumulative distribution or we can say just there uh, if we normalize it differently then we have here the rank. So then we have here the largest event, the second largest, the third largest and so on and so forth if we have a sample. Mm? And then we left for example if we have a sample of, of our income so then we, we plot here so that would be the income of the richest person on earth and we plot here the, or the wealth of the richest person and then we plot the wealth of the second richest person again some billion dollar whatever then the rank the, the wealth of the third largest and so on and so forth and if we continue this then we also have our power law distribution so we can put a line for these, but that's now the rank plot. Yeah. And uh, if, if you have um, uh, sale curves, very often people show the rank plot because this is here, the rank gives you the products that you can sell and this here is the popularity. So the sale curve how often is a book sold? So like if this is now the sales curve, so the top is the Bible, so you see how many, how often was the Bible sold, how often was the next book sold, how often was Harry Potter sold. And then if you now continue, this also of course goes on and on and on and on. 
and then here you have the fricks yeah? so the books which are only sold once in your in your system huh? and uh, now sometimes people call this here the long tail hmm? because uh, you have again a decaying curve and you look the long thing on the right hand side the many 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 products which are sold only once yeah? so you, you you have many it goes very far to the to the right but be careful this long tail corresponds to the very small popularities so this act actually corresponds to the head in our probability density yeah so i mean so in some sense so like we, we look here how many very small popularity items we have and this and the rank plot are all listed here uh, on the right hand side so be careful when people speak about the long tail do they mean the density distribution the right hand side or the right hand side and the rank plot yeah and these are just the opposite sides of the plot hmm? okay th this, that uh, as a side remark and now when you when you look at something like this then you can could ask how would the economy change in the future or how would or how would sales curves sales curves change in the future so you could ask this question and um, for example, let's discuss this first on, in, in the PDF. So here we have our density, here our P of X. Let's say that's our cutoff. And uh, let's say we have a distribution which goes like this. Yeah, and that's our sales curve. And now the question is, how would this change in the future? And so now you could one could argue. Um, so maybe. So maybe well let's let's write your future. Maybe the uh, distribution gets more unequal. So maybe alpha is reduced. meaning the distribution gets more unequal and that was always my common expression that I thought okay if the distribution gets more unequal we go in the future to a distribution which looks like this okay it's too I didn't emphasize the decaying thing too much uh, so I didn't go very far to the left here but so you see you see the difference like here first I had a distribution which has maybe large alpha maybe 2.5 and then we go to a distribution which has a smaller alpha maybe 1.5 and why why was this my first expectation how, how the things should go on so the reason would be increasing globali globalization this is more a gut feeling for myself than a, than a uh, strict theory but I think like like with our like um, uh, social media or like in the in the like when when you started maybe let's say this would be this, let's say it would be music yeah and uh, so the first at first time uh, all the times you had to go to a live concert before we had uh, recordings and so you could have a popularity of, of singers but uh, a singer in a certain single concert can have only so and so many many visitors so the popularity of, of one artist can go only so and so far but then we started to change the technology and we had the uh, recordings and then many people can buy this and suddenly everybody can can for example if you're in, in, in Bach piano music everybody can buy the Glenn Gould 
edition and then has the best artist in the world or what people believe or what you believe the best artist in the world and you could have a much higher popularity so then the long tail in this curve is increased so we go to smaller exponent and then if we now have feedback and everybody has now access to, to something like Spotify or something so uh, so that everybody can see uh, or like you have the system to, for fashions to build up here then you can have this super duper hits like this big events which have a lot of market share because these are the super duper stars of the moment so I was always thinking like we, we get to an um, to our uh, distribution which gets more and more flat the tail is more and more increasing we have smaller and smaller alpha and larger and larger events larger of the super influencers uh, with so and so many followers huh? um, and but this would mean it, this increase here would go at the cost and the head of the distribution we would have less of the rare events yeah so that would would have been my my thing my idea and then Chris Anderson, he said, oh no, maybe we have something different. Maybe we have an in increase also, also here and in, uh, in this direction. Yeah. So maybe the head is even is more, more uh, uh, is rising. Because how is this possible? Now, if you think on Spotify, hmm, when you now have uh, the music in, 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 in your computer and you have a good search engine and you have a freak music taste, and 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 uh, I mean and if you see in such a sales curve there is many many very strange tastes or tastes which only a minority of people have so like you have many 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 things which are sold only a few times and in with previous recordings and so on so we had no chance to to sell this nobody would even know about this but now with internet technology and so on we can have much more entries here in, in, in the head of the distribution because we have more freak products. So now, but Chris Anderson, he spoke about the long tail because we are, he referred to the rank plot. So now comes a bit of the confusion. So he was speaking about the rank. We have the popularity X here. We had the, maybe here a typical uh, rank plot. And Anderson was saying, oh, maybe in the future we're changing the, changing the distribution to something where we have more things in the rank. So we can even go higher here, can go much further to the right, to value where the normal distribution would hit zero, and increase this a little bit. And then we have more in the long tail, but the tail in the rank plot. And how, what, so what was the argument? So like one thing would be like against Spotify. So you have this um, this uh, distribution which have very, very small uh, popularity, but you can still serve it yeah? because in the, in, in, in the, the database can still store it and, and people can just click and, and, and find their, their uh, freak music. Let's call it freak. Uh, and so uh, just meaning like, like uh, uh, music which is not heard by many other people um, and you can have a good algorithm which gives you suggestions so you can have an algorithm that maybe you you hear some music more in the middle of the curve so like because you hear the music basically what your friends hear so there you get tips what is the good music so maybe you hear music in the middle of the curve but then you have an algorithm and the algorithm says okay I suggest you check out this music here and the algorithm might say okay people who have your taste also listen to this music and then you just press a button and then you can play the song and then you find out oh I like this or not and so the algorithm can put you to some uh, things in the long tail of the distribution but tail in this sense or which meaning in the head in our normal representation and suddenly the, you can, the, the customer, so Spotify or whatever can sell more of these things which normally people would know about yeah. so Anderson had also another example let's take you, you sell books so typically 
So in a bookstore you have only so, and so many square meter of space. And so a good bookstore, what's the secret of a good bookstore? The bookstore needs the blockbusters, the bestsellers. I mean here's the bestsellers, right? Hmm? They're here. And of course you need to, to have them in your bookstore because um, that's what most people buy. And here you earn the most money. But if you have only the first 10, ten uh, bestsellers in your, in your library, now if somebody w wants something else, they don't find it and then they look somewhere else. So you need to have, of course, the first entries in your rank plot yeah, with the most popularities. And then you need a selection of some other books which are not so frequent to give the people some uh, Di how you say them uh, uh, so that they're a bit uh, see some diverse range of other things here yeah? otherwise they would be too bored but since you have only limited store capacity in your shop yeah you can go only so and so far to the right hand because you need of course to have the best sellers because that's your capacity and here you make most money and now Chris Anderson so he said okay uh, this ad this changes with uh, 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 internet business like for example Amazon or, or eBay or, or whatever because in Amazon you don't need the store capacity of, of, of your shop you can have one store capacity maybe for a whole country and this is much larger there you have space for the best sellers but there you have space for all the freak things here in the end of the curve and so suddenly a, a, a retailer, uh, so like an internet retailer, can sell, he can, can offer you uh, the products in the long tail of the distribution and suddenly, and then now the question is, how much value is now in the long tail compared in the head? Or in the other way, how much, how much money can you make with this part here? I mean, so you have very small, um, popularity so you, you your every single item will will only be sold so and so often a few times only but you have many many of them and if you now can increase the head of the distribution in this plot you increase the tail in the rank plot I mean it's uh, same thing yeah then maybe there is a huge market and so Anderson said the the success of, of, of uh, of internet technologies like like you have in, in Amazon or, or Spotify with a cool search engine which tells you okay here is a product you never thought about check this out this will change the, um, the distribution not uh, in, in this way that we go in this direction maybe I should make this change here so we are higher here so but but this of course would now go so uh, the long tail economy says long tail economy says sir uh, we have more we have or a big market in the head or long tail of distribution and head I mean if we speak about our normal probability distribution and long tail I mean when we speak about the rank plot Yeah. And uh, very often this is not really clear what's meant uh, when you when you see. Uh, so l this is often discussed, for example, in in, in blogs and, and in the internet. And very often these people don't make the axis very precise, and so it's not really clear what they mean. But now, how, how can it be possible? So like these things seem to contradict each other. How can you on the one one hand have a more unequal distribution, which means the head is reduced? But according to Anderson here, the head should be increasing. And now I think maybe the reason is that we can just reduce, we can go more to the left, we can have a smaller cutoff. Yeah? So we can have more freak products. So we change the cutoff to the left. 
and we change the cutoff to the left, then the distribution goes higher and higher here. And this means suddenly we have here um, a higher fraction, higher sales in, 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 the, in the freak products, which we now can sell much more. Yeah. I mean, the other thing, how you could, could have this uh, higher, more equal distribution on the other hand, and, and at the same time increase the head if you don't have a power law anymore. If, you, if the distribution gets even more unequal th th than the power law and is even splitting more and more like this, so that the tail is, the head is increasing and the tail is increasing, so you get more of the best sellers, so more of the super duper stars, and on the other hand, you can serve more and more and more the weirdos and the, the strange tastes. Of course, uh, for the consumers, this long tail is, of course, uh, uh, you could say, a very nice thing. Because, like, if you have, uh, you don't always have to follow the mainstream. Because, like, like here, this would then, then this would be here mainstream. That's the bestseller, the blockbuster, the chart number one things. Yeah, and you, of course you can listen to them and in radio for example you you hear basically only the mainstream but with your internet technology like like uh, like Spotify uh, you can uh, explore here the head of the distribution and then you have this many 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 interesting music pieces which you would never have known about if you wouldn't have um, this technology technology which allows you access to this part of the distribution. Mm. Okay, so that's um, again maybe a long video for something which is maybe simple concept, but I, I did this on purpose to show you that this uh, this concept that sometimes you see like this, people just say, okay, we have a power law distribution and it's like this and that's the normalization and that's it. No, actually this distribution and that real sales curves more and more are approximated by such curves have tremendous consequences for example in the kind of products music books or uh, in the distribution of names in all kinds of fashions that that uh, shaping our day and day life and with the two things which which are changing this so the increasing globalization and the increasing internet technology here yeah, um, um so the the effects of this power law distributions the inequalities became become larger and larger so internet technology makes this accessible okay so that's uh, enough for this video so now and what's still uh, uh, to do, maybe in the next videos we should describe how we then, if we get a sample of data, how we really estimate the, the exponent of our power law distribution. But so this will be done in the next video for now.